Now I've got this process here, let's say checklist on reviewing posts. So this is the process that I'm going to want to try and import. And the first thing that I do now, and for those who attended the chat GPT training webinar, you know my default question is, oh, can I get AI to help me with this? Um, I've got a, a process document here, and it looks like a few of you are already starting to join in on this. Uh, I'm going to take this first little prompt here, and I'm going to plug this into ChatGPT here. And I'll just copy all of it. Basically, as you start to import, you can use this prompt, and I run everything through Chat GPT before we get it into System Hub. So we'll just let this go. Basically, I'm asking it to tidy this process up, which looks pretty scrappy. And then I want it to suggest some titles and descriptions and do an overview for me just so that way it's really quick and easy. Now, because you're doing the importing and you're a systems champion, you might not be the knowledgeable worker. You don't want to get too into the weeds of tweaking these systems and processes. That's best left up to the expert. The goal here is just to get it into the software. So once you've got your folder structure right, uh, and this one is about reviewing a blog post, the first question you need to think about is where am I going to save it? So I'm going to pop this in operations and I'm just going to go, well, you know what? We might have a range of systems that are going to be around cleaning up blogs. So I'll just create a folder called blogs. And then I'm going to add the system like this. And in the prompt sequence that I've given you, I've asked it to suggest some titles. I'll pick the title that I like the most. Once we get in here, I've already asked it to give me a little bit of an overview. I'll drop that in. And then we grab the process, which it's taken and tidied up. We just paste that straight in here. Now, when you import something, generally you want to establish uh, uh, what the lighting system means. In System Hub, we can go, hey, green means it's ready to use. Orange means it's under construction. Red means don't use it. And sometimes we'll talk about it later. Purple might be a placeholder. So I'm going to put this as orange and we'll hit save. And like it's just polished things up really nicely. You could imagine the job of the systems champion as they kind of work through this process to get those existing systems in here. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Just a heads up, it was a snippet taken from the Business Systems Accelerator program, which is the world's first training for systems champions to help you build a systems-driven organization. If you'd like to find out more about the program, head over to systemology.com forward slash BSA, and I'll see you in the next video.